well, it might be desperation, but yeah. you know, it's yeah, it's just something that I I don't know. Well, that's where Daniel found Frank too. I know, Daniel was telling me. I don't know. Well, that's where Daniel found Frank too. I know, Daniel was telling me the other day. That's here and there, but I mean, Daniel has no business doing that at all. So, in the past, I used my cell phone and I could kind of pinpoint where the sound is coming from. Being that a phone is only recording in mono, mono, um, and I don't know if it's that much fidelity, especially iPhone doesn't have really good recording capacities, but so there's this terrible clicking in the dashboard. It probably triggered first. It, tr I believe it triggered from, uh, the messing with the air conditioner. Actually, let's see something. Clicking. Hmm. Well, that's when I first noticed the clicking was when I turned that on. So I'm going to put the phone across the bottom of the. It sounds like it's coming from the bottom of the dash. I think the sound is coming from down here somewhere. I tried hitting stuff, making it go away, but it didn't help. Where? No. Shouldn't even plug anything. I think it's in the box. Probably the fan or something. I found where the terrible clicking was coming from. The terrible clicking sound is in here. I'm gonna have to use a, let's see. Uh, I'll just feel, feel around. So right here, I think it's a motor, like a motor for the air conditioner or something. I'll, I'll plug it back in so you can hear. Oh, done. No clicking. So removing this bottom dashboard panel was pretty easy. So putting it back, ooh, putting it back is just like taking it out in reverse. you kind of put it up and up and in right here see here's I need two hands to do it and there's two screws at the bottom right here two screws seven millimeter done and done hopefully I can fix that